We got my man Izzy here. Isaiah dude, first off, welcome to the Yankees. It's pretty sweet, right? You look good. Yeah, it's a dream come true. Uh, you can't be more excited to be here. Yeah, so we know you from the baseball field, obviously, but you got a lot of fun social media posts. Are you ready to check them out? Let's do it. Probably the most viral of social media posts that you have, which was just not that long ago, the fresh face baby. Yeah, that was a, that was a crazy day for me. I think I got the call um, the night before that I was gonna be a Yankee. Um, I got traded to the Twins from the Rangers and then uh, Minnesota traded me to the Yankees um, and I was pumped. So I couldn't be happier to shave and uh, I said it a, a bunch of times before, winners make their bed and uh, you know, winners shave. So I'm excited to be here and uh, you know, it's, it's a cool to be a part of the Yankee tradition. And now this one. You got a lot of love too on Twitter and on Instagram when you posted this, this throwback photo of you and your dad, Yankee Stadium in the bleachers. Yeah, that was a 2006 Yankee Stadium. Uh, I got to witness Mariano Rivera's 400 save. Uh, I watched seven games, so I'm not too sure which one of those seven those are, but that's uh, yeah, 2006. So uh, that's a that was a cool story, and um, you know, dreams come true. <laughs> did you do the roll call? I did. I was a part nice, of it. Eh? I had a blast. <laughs> I had a blast out there. I couldn't stop screaming. You know, a lot of ice cream too. Uh, I had a blast. Outside of Mariano's 400th save, what would you say is the most memorable part? of that trip where you did see those seven games out there? Um, just being at the stadium, the old stadium, and seeing the new stadium being built, you know, that was pretty cool, um, you know, being able to kind of close that stadium down. So I was lucky enough to experience that, and, uh, you know, I could take take my love for the game and that love for the old stadium to the new one. Yes, sir. And you even got a chance to go on the field at the old stadium. Not many people have been able to do that. So another great memory for you. How'd yeah, you get on the field? We were able to get a tour in, um, you know, just just being able to, to go there and check out the stadium. Um, I think I, we even got to see Monument Park for a little bit. Uh, that was a dream come true, man. And, um, you know, like I said, once I was on the field there, that's just, that's kind of what started me wanting to be where I am now. So, you know, things kind of came full circle and, uh, and I'm glad to be here. And you're a Hawaiian dude. So coming from Hawaii and making the big leagues, you know what it takes and, and you know how impactful it could be when you talk to younger kids and here you are right here. You did a video for the Hawaiian Little League team. I'm excited, I'll be watching from Texas. and I'm really excited, I'll be watching. So go get them guys, good luck. And I just seeing them get so pumped up was so awesome. Yeah, it was pretty cool. That team actually won. Um, you know, we uh, we were able to win Cooperstown Tournament 2007, week five. We won the whole thing. And uh, that kind of started Hawaii going off. I think the Little League team won the following year and another Little League team won. And then this was the third team. So uh, just starting that, that baseball life and, um, you know, Kids from Hawaii have passion, and I want to be a role model for all of them, and I want them to keep chasing their dreams. When we do talk about Hawaii, dude, these views, man, insane. You're literally from a vacation world. This is awesome. Yeah, that's my favorite beach right there. It's uh, Makapu Beach Park. Um, I think during COVID, I was there every morning at 6 o'clock, getting the waves before the surfers came in. And, you know, I, I like to use the natural resources. I get out there, um, jump in the water, run in the sand, do everything I can before the sun comes up. and. Um, you know, I have a blast out there, and uh, you know that makes me miss home a little bit. But you know, there's nowhere I'd rather be than New York. So, all right, you, I see you got the headphones on too. So, what are you listening to when you do go for these hikes or when you go by the water? A little meditation action, some like calm, chill music. What you got? Revolution. Uh, okay. You know, Marley Williams is my boy in Revolution. He plays a bass, and uh, you know he's one. Of, he's one of my guys. Uh, I walk out to Attention Span by Revolution. And, um, you know, I, I love that band and I love everything they do and I love the vibes and positive music. And you also have to rep where you're from too, so you got the tat on the left shin. When did you get this? How long did it take? Just, just break it down and obviously we kind of know a little bit of the inspiration behind it. I got it when I was a senior, right after I graduated, um, you know, right after I got drafted. I think it was that first off season. And um, that, that just means, uh, means a lot to me, um, you know, to my family and to my culture. Um, I'm half Samoan, a quarter Japanese and a quarter white. So just having that uh, that on me, you know, it really means the world. It's uh, courage, eternity, warrior, and a, a long life. When it comes to accessories, man, this watch that you had posted on Instagram, dude, it's pretty nice. Yeah, I mean, I, I sh hopefully I can get you know a step up from that. I think uh, this is a Bulova watch. This is when I first signed. Um, the, the top half of it's real, and then you get to like the the bottom part, and it's fake on the bottom. But you know, that was 18. I had to show show off something. So, you know, I've come a long way from that from then. 
And, um, you know, I'm definitely a lot more humble now, for sure. You know, I wouldn't be going around posting things like this anymore. But, uh, <laughs> you know, this was, this was um, you know, this meant a lot to me at the time, you know, because I, I came from, you know, you know, it was tough being from Hawaii and whatnot. And uh, when I finally signed and became a pro, I wanted to treat myself a little bit. And it was one of the things I got. Yeah, man, why not? You got to celebrate the wins. 100%. <laughs> so also some ice action. Here you are dropping the puck at a Dallas Stars game, man. Yeah, Jamie Benn. Um, so this is me and my boy Willie Calhoun in the middle. But Jamie Benn right here, he's one of my favorite players uh, in hockey. Um, you know, that's a guy you don't want to fight. Um, you know, he never loses a fight. And um, it's cool because uh, Chad, he's our, he's our mental skills coach and he works with these guys too. So, um, you know, we're very familiar with each other. We have a good relationship. And, uh, you know, I was lucky enough to get on the ice. Dude, nice. And you even, like, you literally got a strike. On the ice. I got a strike right there. Uh, yeah, I rolled through that thing, got a strike. Um, I think uh, I think the other guys went and they couldn't knock them all down, but I knocked them all down in one try. So I'm, I'm a winner, baby. <laughs> there you go. In everything you do. And your first hockey game actually wasn't even all that long ago. You saw a Coyotes game back in 2015. Yeah, that was my first time. And funny story, that was the day. That was actually the day before uh, my first one of my first big league jicks. Uh, I think I hit a walk off the next day, but I had food poisoning from that night. So it's kind of a it's kind of a funny story. I had food poisoning that night. The very next day, I'm in the game and I'm puking in the dugout. But it was my first opportunity to see the big league coaches and, and for them to see me. And I stuck it out and I hit a walk off that day. Dude, there you go. Are you, you got any superstitions in you? Are you um, uh, I used did to. Did you try doing that again I at used, any point? I used to. I used to do it. I think um, you know I, I kind of stopped because I didn't want to you know I didn't want to get too crazy. But uh, yeah, it was a, it was a it was a fun night and um, you know I paid for it the next day, but I came through. <laughs> All right, we're running down to the last few. Dodge Challenger, do you still have this bad boy? No. This is one of your first big purchases. Yeah, right? this was this was like one of the first things I bought. Um, you know, I it, I made it look like it was a cool car and everything. It was a V6, so yeah, I used, cool. I used to get teased by people because I had a, a Challenger, but it was a V6. So you know, I got humbled with that now, but now I got a, an AMG. So you know, I've Ooh. I've come a long way. But uh, yeah, this was my baby. This was the first car I purchased, and uh, you know, everybody knows how that first car feels. So it's hard to. Let it go. I still have it, but you know, I think I'm going to be selling it soon. So whoever wants it, let me know. <laughs> All right. So this was on your brother's Instagram page. You got to check out your golf swing, man. It looks pretty good from the right side. Yeah, I started playing golf a lot. Um, I think this off season, especially, um, you know, I used to always think that golf was a, was was bad for hitting, mm -hmm. but I think I learned that it actually helps your hitting and, and, and your movements and. You know, it also just gets your, your mind off the game. So I think um, finding that outlet, playing with your family, playing with my brother, uh, really allowed me to have a good off season and not think about the game too much. And especially with the lockout, man, I think the lockout was tough, but playing golf and just being with a good group, you know, really allowed me to have fun and enjoy myself. Dude, what could be better, Hawaii? Just a little golf action. I know you're down in Dallas. Like, dude, that's a nice off season, man. You get to chill out. Yeah, it's good, man. It's uh, it's good, but uh, you know, the only tough part about everything is, you know, the facilities and and whatnot. So. Um, you know, whenever I'm home, I gotta enjoy it. You gotta, you gotta, gotta get in the water, you gotta get on the golf courses, but you know, it is what it is. I'm just so happy to be in New York, man. This is a dream come true. And when you do go home, your family, they have a couple of cute looking dogs, man. I know you're a dog guy, and usually dog people are good people, and that's you. You know, we have a bunch of dogs. So we have two pit bulls, and I actually just got my own. I got my own uh, mini golden doodle. Bella. Bella, and she's yeah. here, so she's out here. She's my, my support dog, pretty much. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's nice to have her around and to, you know, just get my mind off the game. I think I've learned over the past couple of years, the, the more you can, you know, enjoy yourself and separate yourself from the game, the more success you're gonna have. Uh, it's, it's a tough game, it's a grind, so you need those outlets. And I think um, having a dog and, and just, you know, a, a family, it's, 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 a, it's a big help. And she's got her own Instagram page I saw in your story this morning. Yeah, she's got the, her own. <laughs> yeah, she was just chilling with you on the plane, man. That's yeah. a nice fun ride. It's, it's nice because whenever I get too caught up in things with baseball and whatnot, I, I'll just look on her page and look at other doggies and post for her. And it's just, it's just another outlet for me and I have fun doing it. I enjoy it. So we see all these fun Instagram posts and Twitter posts that you put up. What would you say is your most favorite part about social media? Uh, in the interaction with the fans, I think for me uh, on the field, I'm so serious. I don't like to talk to anybody. I don't like to do anything. I'm just all game. So the moment I get off the field and kind of unwind and just let the fans know how I'm feeling, uh, it's, it, I have fun with it. Sweet. Well, why should somebody follow you and what do you have to offer 
outside of what we already just saw. I'm the shortstop for the Yankees, man. <laughs> yeah, that's good <laughs> I, enough reason, right? I think uh, I think that's a pretty <laughs> it's pretty cool, you know. Um, you know, just just coming from a different organization and and being so welcomed here. Um, you know, you have to take advantage of the opportunity, and this is this is a place where you know magic happens. You know, I think uh, if we can go and get that World Series. Uh, you know, it's going to change a lot of people's lives, and um, you know, I'm looking for all the benefits of that. Awesome. Well, shoot out your handles because now's the time for the plug, and even the dogs. Throw Bellas out there. Yeah. Um, Cute dog. Uh, Isaiah KF uh, on Instagram. Isaiah KF11 on Twitter. I wasn't able to change the 11 because of you know you lose the verified if you do that, so I wasn't able to do that. And uh, my dog's Instagram is Bella the Dude. So yeah, give us a follow, and uh, you know we'll we'll interact.